Hey, what's up, YouTube? It looks like small guards are back for NBA 2K23. First things first, drop a like, drop a sub if you can. Mike Wang sending out a bunch of tweets. And in this first tweet that we'll reference, he sent out this survey asking, you guys want some signature dribble packages like Curry's to have even higher ball handle requirements? The community has spoken. A whopping 71% said yes. And what that tells me personally is that the community wants more than anything, a skill gap. And it also so it looks like the community has enjoyed these smaller guards that we have for NBA 2K22. And because of the way that you guys, the 2K community has voted, Mike Wang sends out these following tweets. The first one says, the people have spoken, amending this tweet, going to push some SIGs up to 90 plus. The next tweet right above it says, dribble SIG requirements are very similar to last year. I still recommend putting your ball handle rating up to 86 if you want everything, but you're not gonna get everything at 86. Because Mike Wang sends out this following tweet saying the highest ball handle requirement will be 92 for curry and trey Sigs. some other players were pulled up to 90 also dame kyrie and others so i think we all know what the 2k community is going to do to get some of these go to sig animations that looks like curry and trey Sigs may be in the game initially that would be super dope if we don't have to wait almost like half a year to get these type of sigs i know we waited a long time for the curry sigs trey six is gonna be in the game again probably still goaded if they're upping that to 92 we all know the trey sig was the primary sig to go to for nba 2k 22 it looks like it's gonna be the same for nba 2k 23 but there's still one other factor that we definitely all have to consider and that's the x factor in adrenaline boost how effective are adrenaline boosts gonna be towards players who like to spam dribble because from what mike wang had to say in the course side report in regards to spam dribbling is that you guys are gonna have to play a lot smarter and use your dribble moves sparingly against the defense not to mention the defense will get penalized for spamming the steal button so there may be a good balance there it looks like 2k23 is gonna be one of the first games with a skill gap at least from what they're telling us right now how does 2k implement and incorporate and execute all of these new mechanics in 2K23, we can only wait and see. As of right now, with these dribble sigs set at higher rating requirements, it doesn't look like six sevens will be going crazy with Trey Young escapes and Curry slides. It looks like it's gonna be left for the smaller guards with super high ball handle. You all let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. I would love your feedback. By the way, if you guys are looking for players to run with on NBA 2K22 in preparation, for NBA 2K23, get your chemistry up and join our Discord. Pulling up on 22,000 members, we'd love for you guys to join the family. The link for Discord will be in the description below. Drop a like, drop a sub, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Easy, y'all.